easy um, because I am a repeat member, like joiner and then lever and then joiner and then lever. I'd say it was rocky at best <laughs> because I would get into, you know, a, a kind of like a, just a lackadaisical attitude about it. I really wouldn't go to the gym. But then I joined the first time in 2017 and I joined under the premise of like you guys is, uh, it was like the, uh, it was like a, a three month like trial program, like free, I can't remember what it was called, but that's what walked me in there. And mm -hmm. um, then from there it was good. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, to, to get back to the question, uh, it was, uh, it was tenuous at best. It was very sporadic. Well, one of the actual, the, the biggest selling points to me actually was the 24 hour access. Because at the time I was working swing shifts all over the place. And so even if I couldn't get in, cause I wasn't, when I originally joined, I wasn't interested in the classes, but I could go in at, you know, 11 o'clock at night and not have to be pushed out the door by these other 24 seven facilities. Well, I mean, I, I guess my biggest achievement would be developing a structured, a, a structured and scheduled lifestyle. I, I mean, in all honesty, like, I, you know, I've got the work thing, I've got job stuff, like I've done good there and stuff like that. But what makes you feel good at the end of the day? Right. So like for me, I'm the kind of guy that, and I know this is, Nick's probably going to yell at me for this, but if I don't work out in a day, I feel like I missed something. And I'm, I'm not okay with that. I know it's overtraining, Nick, but simply, you know, like I've got structure. I know that I'm going to get up and I'm going to work out at this time. And if it doesn't work, I've got a backup time. And it's not like I have to plan like that. I just know that there's another slot I can fill. Very easy to fit in when I started the morning classes. But it's the accountability level, too. Because, I mean, you guys actually must read this, the, the forms that we fill out for you. Because number one on my list was holding me accountable, man. And the first thing that happened, I missed my first class. I'm late. What do I get? A text at 531. Weren't you supposed to work out today? <laughs> <laughs> In all honesty, my advice would be listen, listen to people who you ask questions to. Um, that, that would be my biggest thing because people come in and they set unrealistic goals or they come in and they try and do too much. And, and then they, like somebody who will come in and pay for help, but they won't listen to anything that they're told. It's like, you're, you're kind of not, you're not getting your money's worth there. And I, I mean, in all honesty, it, the, the phrase is listen to the experts for a reason. So that would be my advice. Listen. Yes, I would. Um, if nothing else, it would be to have somebody to work out with, but, <laughs> but, um, no, I mean, like if I see some, I, I would recommend it because it's worked for me. And, and, and that's honestly, when you get down to it, there's no puffery or flattery. It's just worked for me. It's been a great environment. And I know that anybody that I would be, you know, that I would call a friend or anybody that I would, that would be interested in, in getting fit. They would student, they would fit in well too.